Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you're doing okay. I'm uh, going to start off by uh, giving you a, an extreme trigger warning. This is um, a dis absolutely despicable case. I'm going to read through the full article. There are, is details within it. Uh, so an, an extreme trigger warning. <clears throat> it involves the worst of the worst. And... Um, uh, before I start, I am interested in your feedback. I am interested as to whether or not you feel it's appropriate to cover this type of topic. Um, I'm in two minds about it. I don't know if it's best to avoid this topic or not. Um, I'm feeling right now that... Uh, maybe, I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, uh, I think it's good to have an awareness of this kind of situation and... You know, what I am doing on this channel is covering a lot of really heinous crimes, mostly murders against children. Um, and this crime involves the murder of a child, two year old. But in addition to that, as I say, the reason why to me this is uh, more heinous than it, the, the, this is the absolute worst of the worst is because it also involves the sexual abuse of that two year old child. Um, so I am interested in your feedback if you feel that it's best just to avoid this kind of topic um, or if you feel that's the right thing to do either way uh, I would appreciate a comment or two in regards to that I'm going to go through the full details again it's going to be descriptive at certain points um, so an extreme trigger warning if you feel that you're not up to this I totally understand and if you feel that you need a better place, a uh, better frame of mind uh, to place yourself in, then do check out the friends of the channel, notably at the end of the day with Bella. She's very active. She does uh, regular live streams on YouTube. Uh, that can go on for an hour, two hours or, or more, more sometimes. And they're, they're very fun, very kind environment. So if you're looking for somewhere a little pleasant to get away from all of this darkness that I'm throwing at you, then uh, do check out at the end of the day there's a link on the home page of this channel in any case we're going to go through the details here in regards to this absolute fucking evil scumbag that everyone that watches this if that's two viewers or 20 viewers um everyone's going to agree that this scumbag deserves the absolute worst he deserves his own place in hell to spend uh, for the rest of eternity. Brett Hickman. There he is. He's only been sentenced 450 months. Which is 37 and a half years. Not enough. Not enough. So a Mississippi man. Who has admitted. Physical and sexual abuse of a toddler. result Which resulted in the child's death. Was sentenced on Tuesday. Uh, for 450 months, 37 and a half years. His name is Brett K. Hickman, 28 years of age. And this happened in Mississippi. Uh, the sentence comes after the defendant pleaded guilty to federal charges of second degree murder and aggravated sexual abuse of a child as part of a deal with prosecutors. This absolute scumbag, Brett Hickman, was arrested in June 2019 after the death of a two-year-old child that was living at his home at the Tucker community of the Choctaw Indian Reservation. This scumbag willfully, deliberately, maliciously and with premeditation and malice, after, malice afterthought, did unlawfully kill the minor whose name is withheld. She was a Choctaw Indian female, so a part of the Indian tribe, if I understand. And uh, she was killed by Hickman striking her in the abdomen and slamming her head against the floor. The second count related to the sexual assault of the girl, of the toddler, with an intent to abuse, humiliate, harass, degrade, or arouse or gratify the sexual desire of any person. The third count 
detailed the sexual assault of a second minor female under the age of 12. The sentencing guidelines for the first count called for life in prison. Counts 2 and 3 each carried a minimum sentence of 30 years behind bars. However, he put in a plea deal and he gets uh, 37 years. Uh, Hickman's plea deal requires the defendants to plead guilty to one of the sexual assault charges as well as the murder charge. Prosecutors agreed to lower the charge from first degree murder to second degree murder, which meant that he may not spend the rest of his life in prison. I mean, OK, so that, that's as much of the article that I'm, I'm going to go through. There are additional documentation which are linked on this uh, within this article so you, uh, there's a link in the description so you can check that out if you uh, so care to um, but what a fucking absolute sick piece of scum um, why he, he literally I mean I don't want to repeat it but he's he's caused the death of a two-year-old girl he slammed her head down he committed a sexual assault on her And also, a second child was also abused, sexual abused, sexually abused. And the guy gets 37 years in jail. Why isn't it a death penalty, number one? And why is it not life in prison? Um, I, I'm getting the impression that plea deals do serve a purpose. They do um, guarantee a guilty charge. They do... Uh, avoid the expensive cost and traumatic cost uh, to the victims and the families concerned of a trial. So there is a purpose in a plea deal, but um, in my mind, it they can be problematic. This guy, society deserves, the family deserves, the victims, plural, deserve for this guy to be put away for the rest of his life if the death penalty isn't an option. Um, to have this guy have the ability to get out. In 37 and a half years. When he's going to be. I think 65 years of age. It's not good enough. He deserves death. Um, let's hope that he gets. A lot of opportunities to spend time in general population. And let's see if. Uh, let's hope that the other inmates there. Are able to give him the welcoming to the facility that he absolutely deserves and also fuck this guy i hope this guy just spends eternity in hell just suffering pain as much as possible